Hi, this is Frank with B. Young RV in Milwaukee, Oregon, the greater metro Portland area. And today I want to show you an all new fifth wheel that has come out and we have the privilege to have it here at B. Young RV amongst all our other big fifth wheels we have. This is the Solitude ST 369 SL by Grand Designs. This is state of the art. I mean, just look at the front bow on this aerodynamic to shove the water away. We got LED docking lights up here. We got a trail air rotoflex up here on the front to help uh, cushion the uh, fifth wheel. Propane bottle will be in here. There's another one on the other side. Part of your hydraulics are in here. This does have hydraulic jacks. Uh, these are six point levelers. This coach is all bonded. And this is a double uh, a gel coat system on here, so we don't get the wavy lines in on this uh, siding. As you see, the nice graphics up here, Solitude, Grand Design. We have an electric awning that goes clear back to the door. Again, real thick cargo door here. And look at the storage inside this baby. This is huge. Of course, you can see the aluminum framing. It's heated in here also. Battery disconnects in here. That's another nice thing. They installed one. You have frameless windows on this fifth wheel. Outside speakers, plug in out here. This is another thing. I don't think we I've ever seen this before. These are aluminum steps. Look how light this is. You know, a lot of times you're out there when you got the steps, you got a beat on them to get them open. We're not gonna have a rusting issue with these. Nice, of course, an outside handle, keyless entry. Another thing is that uh, all these lower walls are bonded. A lot of companies will do a hung wall in here. This is bonded wall, just like this one. A lot of windows on this side here. This is where your uh, dining area is inside and your recliners are in here. Now again, this is a solid wall. The integrity of the coach is the wall. The windows don't hold together the back uh, section back here. Built kind of like a motorhome. Do you have a little hitch back here? So if you want to put bicycles back here, you definitely could do that. Don't have to attach it to the bumper, it's welded to the frame. Of course, your 50 amp service back here, the power cord goes in here. And I like to say this is a three slide coach, but I got two Jagunda slides in here. Two in the rear opposing slides. I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but the uh, you'll have uh, 7,000 pound axles on here. We got aluminum wheels. They hold up a lot better than uh, painted wheels. This is your furnace. This is a 40,000 BTU uh, suburban furnace in here. Plenty for this coach. And of course, we have a 12 gallon hot water heater in here instead of a six or 10. Here's another thing I love. This access door to your hookups. Nice thick door, but this is all in one here. So uh, this plug, and this isn't the plain white out there. You know, because things get a little dusty and dirty. So this is nicely finished. It looks like stone cast almost. But your water hose will come up here. Your RV cables come up through here or any power cords you want to do. You got the black flush. You got the water fill. Uh, you can winterize it from here. You can bypass your hot water heater. And I noticed because we do have water in here. So if you had a leaky hose, it's going to drip out here. But if it was spraying, it's not hitting the light switches that are inside here. All right. And... Uh, Anyway, your valves, of course, are here, your gray, your black, and your gray. You'll have two gray tanks, it looks like, on here. And uh, they're inside of a heated compartment. This is also heated in here. So, I mean, I could use this in the dead of winter, uh, as long as I got the hose, water hose coming in from the bib heated. And, of course, this leads to the cargo hold over here. And this is your leveling system in here. It's an LCI electronic leveling system. Up here in the bedroom, of course, uh, again, this is the bonded wall system, makes it solid, bottom, top, and this is using the Swintex uh, uh, slide mechanism, which is electric here, that allows uh, bigger slides in the bedroom. All right, it's time to go look inside. This is the fun part coming up. Ladies, what do you think of my kitchen in the solitude? 
Look at all this counter space over here. This is LG material. It's an industrial grade uh, solid surface countertop material. Isn't it beautiful? Look at the color. First off, look at the floor. It's got style. Got a wine rack up here if you need it. And the other big deal is all the lights have switches. Isn't that phenomenal? And these are all LED lights. I got my hand, these have been on for a half hour. I got my hand touching the lights. Look at all the cabinets under here. Look at this. Here, drawers, look at all the cabinetry up here. Hidden hinges in here. I love it. You move over to this part of the kitchen. You got your bread storage area up here, right? Four-door Norco. Look how big that baby is. The big thing is, anybody can reach this. And if you like ice cream and you're going down the road, this Norco's got deep. Look how deep this is. The ice cream's not going to roll out. Your stove is back in here. This, again, LEG, LG. Even in the back here, they're using LG for splash guard here. 22 inch oven, not a little tiny 16 inch oven. Full size microwave, not a little one. More cabinets down here. Check this out. Even comes with a waste paper basket, a real size one. Again, light switches right here, handy to get to. Got lots of light in here. We come over to the island. Of course, the sponge ones. Look at all these. And these are 80 pound guides in here. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Sink covers. There's a place down underneath there to put them. Deep stainless steel sink. Mowing faucet. What do you suppose is in here? Oh my. Look at that. Well, look at these drawers. Look how they're finished off. Roller bearing guides. Oh, this is real wood. I love it. Look at this. Anybody complains about not having storage in this pantry, we're in trouble. Adjustable shelves here, of course. There's even a light in there. LED light. You leave it on, you don't have to worry about burning the Cheerio boxes. We got an extremely big TV with the Insignia sound bar up here. You have a cadenza out here that slides out and opens up. So you could work from here using one of the dinette chairs. We have a fireplace that can put out up to 5,000 BTU. And right now we just have it for aesthetics or ambiance. So we got lots of doors in here, above cabinets, of course your DVD player and uh, is up here. And this will is Bluetooth. Uh, the other day they were playing off an iPhone. I thought it was amazing. I don't have an iPhone. Look at the depth of there. Look at the cabinets above here. Got lots of them. What do you think of this furniture? Oh, sit back. This is Lauren Ashley furniture. This is a recliner. I got one over there. I got two over there. I mean, I look at this. Oh, I could sleep in this. That's a wall hugger. Again, light switches here. You don't have to go up here and touch everything. Now over on this one here, you can put your favorite magazines or whatever. We've got a recliner over here too. Check that out. It's a wall hugger also. Now this table here, it does have leafs on it. It can be turned. You can put all your favorite grandkids uh, pictures in here if you happen to be grandparents. Or you can put your dog pictures in here. Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate the table. It's really rough. Oh my gosh. And then the leaf will fold up over here. Check that out. Look at that. Even got a napkin holder here. Well, I'm going to put a waste paper basket down there when you're eating to shove it off. Tell me that isn't custom. I'm going to shove it back. I love it. Got nice lights above up here. Again, LEDs. Let's head up to the master suite up here. All right, they were thinking of everything. You'll notice this is a pocket door leading into the bathroom. So with low light and that, we're not having to open a door and step down on the steps. Just come back through here. 
We have a China Bowl toilet. We have a op huge open cabinet for towels or whatever you want. They're approximately 20 inches deep. We go into the shower area. And this is solid in here. I got shoes on. That isn't normal. Check this baby out. I mean, I'm 5'10", so somebody bigger than me can get in here. Like I say, it's a one-piece shower. You even got a place to sit. All right. Or you want to have to shave my legs. Oh, I don't shave my legs. What do you think of this, huh? That's adjustable. Place for soap. What do they think of everything? They even got a drain for the soap here so it doesn't get all soggy. I love this bathroom. I might spend some time in here. You like this door coming into the bedroom? Look at this. Translucent glass. The bed. This is the king size bed in here. You still got nightstands. Because of the Swintec system, the design out there, the slide out mechanism, it allows us the room. This is a real mattress. Check this out, the size of this. You don't have to go out and buy one when you buy this. You also like down underneath here. You always wonder about putting shoes on, right? So I got me a stool here. I can tie my shoes. I'm not even hit my head on the counter. Nice drawers here, huh? In the vanity. This stool also opens, as you notice. So I guess you can throw your shoes in there if you want to. Check this out. If you want to put a washer dryer in here, stackable, you can do that. Otherwise, you got some more closet space. There's plug-in in there. There's even heat in here. There's heat duct here. You got lots of lots of hanging room here. Nice slider doors with mirrors to increase the size of the coach. There's even a safe box in here. Pretty nice. And we do have a TV in the bedroom here. Nice thin uh, sensui. And we have it, it looks like it's tied to the, the uh, DVD player out in the main cabin. Well, what do you think of this luxurious fifth wheel, the Solitude by Grand Design? You don't know what you're getting. This is a great, one of the best value that we have here at B Young RV in Milwaukee, Oregon. We're known for our fifth wheels here. We have lots of fifth wheels. And I love the the solitude. I feel the customers are buying a, well, if you like Mercedes, you're getting it at a Chevy price. And uh, I welcome you to come to Be Young RV. Look at our line of fifth wheels. Definitely take on the solitude. We also have plenty of motorhomes new and used and smaller towable trailer. We're a full service dealer here. We have everything from B pluses up to the big fifth wheels and the big diesel pushers. So, if you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to call or email me. Again, my name is Frank Biggs, or you can ask for any of our qualified sales consultants that we have here at B Young RV. We're here to help you. Thank you.